This is RideBMX.com. I'm Ben Snowden, and you're going to learn how to do a 540. Before we get started, I want to go over a few basic things. Number one, you got to have your bike. Number two, hopefully you already know how to do a 360 or a 180. That way you have some idea how to spin. And number three, you got to have a ramp or an obstacle that you want to try a 540 on. Now, when I learned 540s, it was easier and less scary for me to learn them on a ramp that was mellow but had a little transition to it. So I chose to learn them on a box jump landing. If you don't have one of these, it doesn't matter. You can learn them on a wedge or you can even learn them on like a street pyramid or a driveway. But basically, what you want to do is ride up to the top of the ramp. It's going to be harder to air out of a mellow ramp. So when you learn them on a ramp like this, you actually can carve at the top and you're going to basically do a bunny hop 360 back down the ramp. So you're going to be starting your spin near the top and actually pulling off the ramp and landing the spin at the bottom. Now when you first start trying to do 540s, you can actually do 360 to fakies or you can do like a 360 to fakie and land on your back tire and pivot the rest of the way around. That'll kind of help you get the idea of what a 540 is going to feel like, but you're going to want to try to get a few good 540s on this ramp before you move up to one that's a little bit taller. Now that you've learned how to do a 540 on a mellow ramp, you can go ahead and try it on something a little bit steeper. Now pretty much any skate park should have a ramp similar to this. You can use the takeoff of a box jump, you can use a dirt lip on a dirt jump, anything. Generally this one's six feet tall. It's going to be a little bit easier to do an air, and so it'll technically be easier to do the 540, but it might be a little bit more scary at the beginning. Some people, when they try 540s, they actually try them from a quarter pipe onto a wedge at first. That kind of gives them a little bit of sense of when they're going to land, you know, they're not going to really have any impact or, you know, it might be a little more forgiving at first to land on a wedge and that may help you build confidence to try it on the real ramp. If you're having trouble spinning a 540, you might want to try pre-winding it by turning your body away from your spin and then spinning harder into it. That'll help you spin more or it'll kind of help get the bike around and your body around a little bit faster than just a regular spin. When I do a 540, I can do about a 360 and then at that point you'll get used to seeing the coping and that's when after a couple of those you'll start to make a memory of what's happening and you won't feel so disoriented and then when you come the rest of the way around you, you are going to start to spot your landing and you're going to see like you'll, you'll see the coping and then you'll see your front wheel come around and most of the time you land on your back wheel first and then you can get the rest of the rotation. When you try a 540 on a quarter pipe, you want to choose a speed that's comfortable for you. I think it's easiest to do about the same speed as it would take to do about a one or two foot high air. And when you try your 540, your front wheel should at least hit the coping and then you're going to start your spin right away. You're going to spin all the way through the trick and then when you start to pivot the rest of the way around, you want to keep an eye, make sure you're not going to hang your front wheel on the coping. Sometimes if I'm going to hang up my front wheel, I actually take a foot off and end up pushing my way away from the coping. This ramp behind me is eight feet tall and has an eight foot radius. So it goes straight to vert, but doesn't have any amount of pure vert on it. Now, if you want to try a 540 on a ramp such as this or on a vert ramp, you probably should already have 540s pretty comfortable on a six foot or on something smaller. The main differences I'm going to talk to you about is when you're hitting a steeper ramp, you're not going to be pulling away from the ramp like you would on something that's mellow. So when you ride up the ramp, you actually need to compress your body into it and it's going to feel like you're spinning just on a wall that continues all the way up past the ramp. It's going to feel a little bit weird at first. Uh, it's really nothing to be scared about. You can kind of start at the coping and spin a couple 540s and if you land low, go ahead and try going a little bit faster because the faster you hit the vert, the more likely you are to stick to the vert and come down catching more of the transition.